name's Nick Partington. I work for a, a company called Gurit in Switzerland. This presentation is to introduce the Gurit offering to the Turkish composites market, um, what we can do, what we are doing, and to hopefully introduce us as a potential supplier of complete, complete composite solutions for the Turkish market. It's predominantly a commercial presentation. Um, I am a technical guy, so very happy to take technical questions at any stage, either through the presentation or at the end of the presentation. So Gerrit, who are we? Um, quick corporate portrait. We're quite a long-standing company. It's a Swiss parent company. Uh, it's 170 years old, 175 years old. Founded in Vautville in Switzerland. Since 2000, we've focused on composites, uh, originally with a bit of a medical side as well, but in the last seven years, we've been purely advanced composites. So the medical side was divested, and we've looked to just go for a pure play composites approach to the market. So we manufacture globally. Uh, we have a full range composite materials offering from wet systems, prepregs, infusion, sprint, engineering, and um, that is a global offering. So the new organization as we've set ourselves up is composite materials, which is the material supply, and systems and engineering, which is parts and the engineering of those components. As a rough idea of our size, um, the company turned over about 350 million Swiss francs last year, and we have a little over 1,500 employees globally. Our strengths, our competencies, uh, are basically engineering, material supply, processing, the equipment to make the parts, and the parts themselves. We are a global company, and uh, we're looking to grow. Our main areas of competence are in the wind energy market, which has made up roughly two-thirds of our business for the last 15 years. Transportation, uh, Airbus is our biggest customer, but we also supply car component parts to the likes of Aston Martin and Ferrari and Porsche. Industrial, and by that we also cover civil engineering, the architectural side, so things like the uh, Dokai Tower at Mecca. And marine, which is uh, close to my heart, that's where I started with the company, looking at developing materials for race boats initially, but also filtering down to the larger super yachts, um, whether it's wet layup or infusion, prepreg or sprint. And we're always on the lookout to what we can do for new markets. Our engineering side, um, we make tools. We have a company in China which is um, set up to manufacture wind energy tooling for the Chinese wind market. We make automotive components, as I say, for Aston Martin, Ferrari, Porsche and others. And engineered structures, so bridges, um, tidal turbines, a few of the areas where we do not compete with our material supply, um, but we're looking to make finished parts. Where are we globally? Um, I'm based on the Isle of Wight in the UK, but we have a presence, as you can see, pretty much everywhere. Manufacturing sites in the UK, in Spain, in China. Um, we have engineering in the US. We have kitting in New Zealand in the UK, in Spain, um, it is a global operation. Systems and products, um, the different markets we're in, hopefully that's quite clear. Wind is the largest, ocean is new and fledgling business for us. We're hoping that as green energy moves to the next stage, wind energy will start to become just one of the ways of generating green energy, clean energy, ocean and tidal will be another. Marine and industrial, aerospace, rail, automotive, and a new area for us recently is ballistics. So the various materials that we offer, um, whether it's structural performance prepregs, these can be in epoxy, in phenolic, in some other more advanced chemistries as well, um, fire retardant materials, adhesives, laminating, infusion, tooling, 
and we'll go into a bit more detail on those. So what I like to think of as the differentiator for Gurit is that we are not just a materials supplier. Just to make materials without understanding how they're used is a very limited approach. Um, we benefit from having 35 to 40 structural design engineers who get involved at the very beginnings of the projects. They understand the materials, they know the mechanical properties, and usually they understand the way that the product itself is used. We also manufacture uh, the materials, we develop the technology, we formulate our own resin systems. These are predominantly epoxy um, in base, but also some of the fire retardant materials are phenolics and benzoxazines. Manufacture it globally. And we go and support the guys who are doing the building. So we see it is only one small part to manufacture the materials themselves and understand the materials. What is more useful is to actually go on site to help people who are doing an infusion to do it properly. Or if it's the first time you've used a prepreg material to make sure that you're capable of using it and take you through the steps, how to do it. And that could be training on site in the UK or it could be training on site at the customer. And where it's required, we can also go from the concept, the design engineering, the correct materials, to making the prototype parts, as we've done for some of our customers like the RNLI, the British Royal National Lifeboat Institution. We made the first uh, 19 boats for them to prove the sprint concept. So it's a slightly prettier picture, but saying the same thing. Um, these are the core offerings that we have, the materials, the engineering, prototyping, and manufacturing. I think I'd like to think of us as a, a one-stop shop for composites. So the design engineers, the prototyping guys, they're one part of it, and that often is where we get first involved. So we might have a, a wind turbine blade company look to ask us for a new solution for a root section or a marine customer want to have a special um, design engineering to take weight out of a structure. But we offer the full range of uh, approaches to manufacturing. So wet laminating systems such as Ampreg 22, very well established, and the uh, SP106 product for wooden boats. Infusion systems, again, these are epoxy systems, Prime 20 and Prime 27, Lloyd's and Germanisha Lloyd's approved. The established spar bonded range of adhesives, spar bond 340, is very widely used in wind turbine blade bonding and also for hull to deck joints in marine structures. Tooling, we have, as I say, a, a tooling components division, but we also supply materials. So high temperature capable, thermally cycling capable, epoxy resin systems, whether that's wet lamination <laughs> or infusion, and also tooling paste. So a lot of people used to use tooling blocks um, and machine those, glue them together. It's very expensive. The tooling paste is a simpler way of doing that two-component system that gets mixed together. It sets, you machine it, mill it, and coat it, and then take parts directly off that. Composite processing support. Uh, Absolutely critical, very large part of our business. We have uh, maybe a dozen guys who travel the world um, helping customers manufacture parts and be sure that they're doing it right. We kit products, again, to save time in the process. We have mechanical testing and analytical services in-house, so both destructive and non-destructive testing. Some of the, uh, the higher-end materials we have Novel processes, sprint material is a, a patented technology for making autoclave quality components out of a vacuum bag. And our structural prepregs, certainly on the marine side, are established over 20 years. Um, SE70, all of the America's Cup 45 foot catamarans were built with SE70. All of the America's Cup 72 foot catamarans that just raced off San Francisco used SE84 LV. Sparpreg is a, a novel solution for wind turbines, again focusing on making high quality parts just using simple vacuum process only. And the phenolic materials and some fire retardant epoxies and some 
more special chemistries that go predominantly into the aerospace business. We're also a supplier of foam cores uh, with a very wide range. Core cell is a very impact resistant, uh, no problem core. It doesn't outgas. It's extremely tough and offers performance similar to the PVC materials. But we also offer PVC, balsa, and recyclable core material, PET. So this is made from, if you like, old Coca-Cola bottles. Um, it's green, it's very low cost, very efficient, and we have fire retardant versions of that um, which have extensive fire certification. And lastly, we offer uh, dry reinforcements and the vacuum consumables. So whatever you think, um, where you are, we have something which will do the job. We're very proud of our technical support guys. Um, they have extensive knowledge. I think we have over 100 years experience between the team in the UK alone uh, in how you process our materials. So every material has its own unique characteristics. Your particular process, your yard, may have something special or different. You may have higher ambient temperatures. And it's knowing what materials will work and what materials won't work, and then working with the customer to make sure that we get it right. So it's uh, always useful to have these guys involved, very good understanding of the processing behavior, and we can do that, as I say, either visiting customers, or we are happy for people to come to us, spend time in our laboratories, working their process through, becoming familiar with the materials and how they work. Testing. Um, our engineers need to know the properties of the products that they're using so that they can engineer properly. So we have our own laboratories. We're Germanish Lloyd certified. We do both destructive and non-destructive testing. Compression, tensile, interlaminar, flexural, sandwich testing, adhesion testing, peel testing. Um, but we can also look and say, if you've mixed a wet laminating resin and you're a little unsure, did you mix it correctly? we can use non-destructive techniques to say, yes, the mix ratio is correct, and tell you whether you post-cured at the temperature you thought you had, and uh, basically real-time quality control. And we have that testing capability in the UK, in China, and in Canada. Engineering um, was one of the first things that we set up. It, it's an absolute bedrock of the company. It's been going over 30 years, and these guys can go from the design all the way through the analysis of the structure, the optimization of the design. They're very good with finite element analysis, computer-aided design, and they have practical uh, knowledge as well. A lot of the guys who engineer on the marine side are, are proven sailors with a lot of history, so they understand what they're doing, and they also understand how not to make it too complicated for the builder. Typical case study, uh, something that our engineers are working on recently. Um, this is a, the HS1000 um, tidal turbines, quite similar uh, visually to the sort of wind turbine structures. The big difference being that the blades, because they're underwater, are solid. And that has some different requirements on the materials and how you process them. So we were making these using prepreg and sprint, but they're maybe this thick, solid laminate. So controlling the exothermic behavior, the heat generated during the cure, very critical to make sure that it didn't get a runaway exotherm and burn itself out. So we supply the materials, the engineering, and then the process is actually very complicated. Um, but we managed to work that out and get it right and make these parts. And these are generating energy as we speak. So basically it works. And this is all vacuum bag technology, and we made these ourselves. Wind energy is the, uh, the biggest part of our business and has driven a lot of the developments of what we do. Um, our customers use prepregs as well as Sprint, which is a, like a resin film infusion. We supply a variety of different core materials depending on the customer. So some people use PET, it's low cost. Um, some use balsa. Some use PVC, some use core cell. And there is no one solution that everyone seems to say, this is it. So the offering is wide and covers all of the uh, requirements. 
We supply some novel products like uh, light stable epoxy gel coat for use with epoxy infusion or epoxy prepregs. So this is a, a material which doesn't require painting afterwards. Adhesives for high thixotropy that don't sag in the bond line but are machine pumpable. A lot of adhesives, uh, old style adhesives, when you shear them through a pumping machine, you break the thixotropy and they turn very low viscosity and end up on the floor. Um, we have some smart chemistry that overcomes that. Infusion and wet laminating, the tooling systems, and we have some novel uh, ultraviolet light UV curing repair solutions for wind turbine blades as well. So it's a full offering of materials here. Again, engineering is a part of that for the wind energy. We've got about 15 years experience on how to come up with novel solutions. Some of the root bonding solutions are unique to us and our engineers. So get the guys involved at the start and we can probably save you time and money. Marine is, um, for me, the most uh, interesting area. I, uh, I got involved with what was SP Systems, which became Gurit purely because of the marine business. And um, we have a variety of projects, a lot ongoing in Turkey here, um, but also some of the, the race boats and some of the high-end leisure boats. So the, uh, that nice catch there, the Panamax catch, is the biggest composite monohull, carbon fiber composite monohull in the world. It's about 200 feet long. Our previous generation Volvo race boats and also some of the leisure craft here. At the higher end, um, the race boats that we get involved with, the Volvos, uh, Volvo around the world race boats, the previous 70 footers and the new 65s, all of the uh, holes for the new series of the Volvo around the world yachts use our materials. These use sprint and prepreg for quality of the part with low cost manufacture. And on the America's Cup side, uh, we were very proud to be involved with every team uh, in the America's Cup. I hope you all watched it. It was uh, perhaps the most exciting racing I've ever seen uh, for the marine side. And we had some special materials in the two finalists, uh, which helped them to foil and to uh, basically go about 45, 50 miles an hour on the water without any breakages. So quite phenomenal racing. And uh, SE84 Nano was the secret new ingredient there, 25% stronger, no extra weight. And um, that was in the foils of both the finalists and only the finalists for the America's Cup. So it works. Fire retardant materials. Uh, our biggest area for this is uh, aircraft interiors. And Airbus is our primary customer there. We are the largest supplier into Airbus for any aircraft interior. So basically what you see when you get on a plane, there's more than a 50% chance if it's an Airbus that that's our material. So the overhead uh, panels, the side lockers, the where you put your luggage, the floors, this is all composite materials. It's all phenolic or fire retardant epoxy materials. And um, most of it comes out of our plant. Similar sort of uh, products go into the train market, so phenolics, again, very good fire performance. Um, occasionally a little too high in the process temperature, and so we have got alternatives, lower temperature cure materials, which are also fire retardant and suitable for trains. So there's a, a lot of uh, qualifications, a lot of certification accompanies all of these products, which is all in place and we have uh, fire retardant foam materials, core materials, again, with all the certification in place. So. We call this uh, industrial. Um, it's a very nice project that's ongoing at Mecca, the Dockeye Tower. This is just the top, uh, the very top of the tower. The tower itself is 600 meters tall. It's the second biggest building in the world. The top 200 meters are all composite, and that is fire retardant, epoxy, wet laminated on PET core. So because of the weight constraints and the, the need to keep the weight down so as not to damage the foundations, 
the lighter weight of the composite materials was seen as the only way to meet the requirements. The building kept growing taller and taller and taller as the Sheikh decided he wanted more things put onto it. And this was um, quite a challenge, this final piece. Um, the crescent itself is carbon fiber with epoxy fire retardant wet laminating, Ampreg 21FR. All those, the beautiful gold color comes from real gold leaf tiles that were bonded onto the structure afterwards. But from tip to tip, this is 200 feet long. The same size as the Panamax Ketch, the biggest monohull in the world. But this is 2,000 feet up in the air. So we engineered it, we supplied the materials, and oversaw the guys building it. And this is, uh, this is what we do. Ballistics is an area we're just starting to uh, get involved with. I'll just turn my own phone off. And supplying phenolic prepreg materials. The project that we have here um, shown is the Foxhound, which is a, a UK military vehicle, which uses fire retardant epoxy resin system over an S2 glass uh, structural reinforcement. We also have um, a variety of tests ongoing with our phenolic resin systems. Some of these approvals are pending, and uh, the results we're expecting over the next week. Uh, I was hoping to have something today, actually. But um, as well as that, we have the structural adhesives for bonding the internal uh, seating into the composite tub. You cannot have bolts and rivets on the inside of one of these vehicles if it hits an IED, a bomb. The rivets become like bullets and they just kill everybody inside. So the, the whole internal structure is bonded. And I will turn this off now. Using a, a high elongation epoxy adhesive called Sparbon 540. And that was a very effective solution for this. But this is an area of growth for us and ballistic phenolic materials is something that we'll be looking in particular in Turkey to introduce. Some of the larger volume uh, products that we make for wet laminating and infusion. Uh, Ampreg, the Ampreg 22 product has been around a long time. Ampreg 21 is a new improved health and safety version of that. Very long working time, very wide range, so depending on the size of component you're making, you might only need an hour's working time you might actually be laminating in 35 degrees C or 40 degrees C ambient temperature and you need a very, very slow hardener. So we have hardeners which will give up to 14 hours or down to one hour. So there's a, a wide range and that helps us uh, a lot in places where the, the ambient temperature, the climate is, is hotter than uh, maybe in, in Europe. So as well as that, we have the prime infusion range. Again, Lloyds and Germanisha Lloyds approved super low viscosities, structurally excellent, um, good TG, and we send the guys out to show you how to do it. So in fusion, I've seen some horribly complicated uh, ways of infusing boats, and I've seen some very simple ones. And our guys are very good at working out the correct way to infuse. We have a range of adhesives, uh, whether that's adhesive films for use with the prepregs, the SA70 and SA80, or the wet systems, which are usually two component systems, simple mix ratio, uh, Sparbon 340LV is used in a lot of wind turbine blades for bonding them together, for bonding the shells to the composite spars, for bonding the blades themselves to each other. Sparbon 370 is a wood adhesive directly aimed at teak decking, um, very simple to use, it's a one-to-one -one mix ratio. It works well with oily woods, it's very forgiving of surface preparation. It just works every time. Sparbon 345 is a high performance material that would be used on some of the America's Cup type racing yachts uh, and some of the faster adhesives, five and, and 20 minute adhesives. Core, again, is, uh, this is a, a key area for us. It's a very large part of our business. It's maybe a third of our business. Um, we have a very broad offering, the core cell materials, the high impact foam, PVC foam, the recyclable PETs, and 
quite recently we acquired a, a company in Ecuador, uh, Balsa Europe, who make a product called Balsa Flex, um, very good quality Balsa core materials. So we manufacture these ourselves, these are not bought in, these are all manufactured by us and we kit all of those core materials as well. So we have kitting capability in the UK, in Spain, in Canada and in New Zealand. And it's a huge time saver for people when they get a, a, a core kit that turns up and it just drops straight into a blade or straight into a boat and you don't have to kit it up yourself. On the tooling side, as I say, we make tooling paste, we make tools as well. We also make um, the materials to make the tools from. So our offering on the infusion side, T-Prime 130, it's good to 130 degrees, so this can be used either for standard wet laminating, or it can be used with prepreg, or it can be used with sprint. The gel coat that goes with it, T-Gel 130. If you prefer wet laminating to infusion, we have a, another product called T-Lam 130, and the tooling paste itself. And this is a, a picture of the tooling paste where it's been applied. Um, this is at Seaway in Slovenia, and machined. And it gives a very, very good quality surface. We have some customers who are wet laminating components, um, in the Middle East, where they're doing the Dokai clock tower, they just take the parts directly off the tooling paste. So it's a very low-cost way of making a tool. Repair solutions, this is primarily aimed at the wind turbine market. So the key, if you have a, something which needs repairing on a wind turbine, every time you stop the turbine, you're losing money. And if the guys have to wait for eight hours or 12 hours for the resin system to go hard and react so that they can actually get on with the repair, that is dead money. So the idea with this product, which is called Renuvo, is that it effectively cures in seconds. You hit it with a UV light and it is cured within a minute, fully cured. So very uh, good time saving for the guys doing the composite repairs. Uh, when you're at the top of a wind turbine blade and the wind's blowing, you don't want to be up there longer than you have to be. And this keeps everything quick and simple. So in summary, I hope we're offering a complete solution to the Turkish market from the engineering, materials, on-site support for processing, off-site support for analytical testing and prototyping. Thank you. Any questions? Issues with that being on the uh, Wasna list for uh, you know te sensitive technologies, or is it available for export to any market? That's a good question. Um, as far as I'm aware, it is available to any market. The smarts are in the resin, not in the fiber, and it tends to be the fiber which is more export controlled. So, depending on what the material is, we can always apply for export license, um, but it's. I haven't come across any issues with that. Perfect. Thanks very much for that.